Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Jasmine Santos and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we will now proceed in our experiment number 7 which is Exorgate but for now, we will simulate only the circuit which is given in this experiment. This XOR gate offers a very useful function in digital manipulation and processing. It is used to implement various logical operations from code checking into a code conversation. The 7486 is quad to input XOR gate it is the IC intended to implement the XOR gate. And the materials that we need in this experiment number 7 is only our software which is Logism. And we will answer and fill up the table that is given in this experiment. So let's start and simulate the XOR gate or exclusive OR gate. So, hello everyone. We are now here in Logisim software in my PC and we will simulate the circuit given in our experiment number 7, XOR gate or exclusive OR gate. So, let's start. So, as you can see here, these are the gates, NOT gate and AND gate or gate, NAND gate. NOR gate, XOR, and XNOR. So we will choose XOR gate. We will put four of these um, like what you see in the circuit given in this experiment. So you can see here that there are five number of inputs. So we will change this into two by going in the selection and we will click the number of inputs and we will make it two so here the d1 um, representing our switch and the in 1 to in 6 is representing our LED or our output. So, let's put um, D1 to D6, which is switch or our input. We need 6 of this. And after this, we will now put... Um, an output which is our LED also six of this LED okay then we will name this XOR gate number number one Number two, number three, number four, and we will label this by putting D1, D2, okay, D3, D4, D5, and D6. Okay. So, in this um, output, we will label this in one. I forget the one. 
in one in two um, and in three in four in five and the last one is in six so now we will do the connection of this XOR so the D1 and D2 is connected in this number 1 here and the first output is connected to the disconnection then the into is connected to this one okay then the output of this number one is connected in our output three our third lead then um, this number two is connected to d3 and d4 so let's connect this one then after that the output is connected in this lead the fourth lead okay then let's put this here you can see that this first input of this number 3 is connected to this connection so we will connect this to this one and the next side is connected in our input number 5 which is D5 and the output now is connected in in 5 okay then the last one here this part of its input is connected to this connection then the other one is d6 and lastly its output is connected in in 6 so let's check so the resistors are optional so we will not put any resistor because we have now input and output it is similar with the simulation so let's check the D1 and D2 is connected to this number 1 and also the IN1 and IN2. The output here is connected to IN3. Then here, the D3 and D4 is connected to this number 2. Then its output is connected to IN4. Then the D5 is connected to, na to the number 3 then the number 1 of its input is connected to this connection then its output is in in 5 then the next one the number 4 um, its first input is the first pin of its input is connected to this connection then the d6 is connected also to the number four and lastly its output is connected in in six so we can change the input the value of input we can make it at logic one at logic zero by clicking this one so it is the change values within circuit
because earlier we are here in this edit selection and add wires so we will click this one so it's like that so we will go now in our truth table where inputs is d1 and d2 we will um, change the variable here in d1 and d2 then we will um, we will know what is the output here in in1 in2 and in3 so let's start so the first one d1 and d2 is at logic zero as you can see our in1 in2 and in3 is at logic zero next one our D1 is at logic 0 and our D2 is at logic 1. So, our in 1 is at logic 0 and our in 2 is at logic 1 and our in 3 is at logic 1. Next, the D1 is at logic 1 and the D2 is at logic 0. So here you can see that in 1 and in 3 is at logic 1 while in 2 is at logic 0. So next, we will now make this D1 and D2, we will make this two input um, at logic 1. So, what happened here is only in 1 and in 2 is at logic 1, while our in 3 is at logic 0. So, we will go now in our next table. We will fill up the table and determine the circuit function. So here it inputs is D3, D4, D5, and D6. And our output that we will um, determine is in 4, in 5, and in 6. So let's make this at logic 0. So our input is this, D3, D4, D5, and D6. So let's start. So first, you can see that D3 to D6 is at logic 0. And our output in 4 to in 6 is also at logic 0. And we will now make the D6 at logic 1 so what happened here is only in 6 is at logic 1 while in 4 and in 5 is still at logic 0 so next um, we will make the D5 at logic 1 so here you can see that in 5 and in 6 is turned on so it is at logic 1 while in 4 is at logic 0 next so here we will now make d5 and d6 at logic 1 so only in 5 change it is at logic 1 while in 4 and in 6 at logic 0 next we will now um, go to the D4 and make it at logic 1. So, all of our output here is now at logic 1. Next, our D4 is at logic 1 and our D6 also is at logic 1 so our in 4 and in 5 
at logic 1 while our in 6 now is at logic 0. Okay, next one. The D4 and D5 is at logic 1. So we will make this at logic 0 and we will make D5 at logic 1. So our in 4 is at logic 1 while in 5 and in 6 is at logic 0. Next, only D3 is at logic 0. The rest of our input now is at logic 1. So, um, in 4 is at logic 1 and also in 6. While in 5 is still at logic 0. So next, we will make this 3 at logic 0 and we will make the D3 at logic 1. Okay, so when we make this D3 at logic 1, all of our input um, output, which is in 4, in 5, and in 6, make it at logic 1. Okay, next, our D3 and D6 is at logic 1. So we will turn this on and you can see that in 4 and in 5 is at logic 1 well the in 6 is at logic 0 then next um, d3 and d5 at logic 1 okay you can see the in 4 only is at logic 1 the rest are at logic 0 next d4 is the only one which is at logic 0 so we will turn this d6 on so you can see here that the in 5 is at logic 0 then in 4 and in 6 is at logic 1 so next we will make d5 and d6 at logic 0 while d4 we will make this at logic 1 and our output is all at logic 0. Next is we will turn on our D6 while D5 is at is. So the in 6 is at logic 1. While in 4 and in 5 is at logic 0. Then next one is we will make D5 turn on and d6 turn off in 5 and in 6 is now at logic 1 and our in 4 is at logic 0 next is the last one we will turn on this 4 input so this d3 d4 d5 and d6 is now at logic 1 so its output only in 5 make it as logic 1 while in 4 and in 6 still at logic 0 so that's all for this simulation So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new about this experiment number 7, exclusive or gate, and also in the Logism software. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you!